I doubt I shall ever forget the strange series of events that led to my meeting young Vulcan. The peoples of the world had been fearfully whispering about the Ice Lords for the past ten years, though of course, they had been present long before then. The Deadwalker army, an endless horde of undead creatures under the Ice Lord's command, swept down from the mountains in the north, annihilating all resistance on the continent. Each battle only served to swell their ranks with the defeated dead, and the bloodless world seemed ready to sink into an endless ice age where there would be no place for the living. There were a few who still tried to stand against the invaders. The elves, who had hitherto remained neutral, and the red scribes, a small group of scholars who believed their knowledge might be able to tip the scales. The scribes had recently engaged the services of a group of mercenaries known as the Freeborn Blades, a renowned company who would become even more so after these events. The Blades were to protect them while they performed a ritual which was intended to change the course of the war. smell them from 50 yards away. So here we are. And just think, the captain wanted me to stay and set up camp. I didn't join the Freeborn Blades to stack pots and do their trains. But he knows that. He knows his men, and he knows his powder master hates just hanging around. <laughs> Setting up camp. Now that's what I call being useful. I honestly believe we stay out of this damn war till the end. Well, looks like the end just showed up. The Ice Lords have really done it this time. All of their TL is on the brink. Nothing will stop the Deadwalkers. Soon there won't be a town left to fall back to. Or even a tavern where you can spend your pay. There's no one left to turn back this filthy, stinking tide. If it were even possible. Let's hope our beloved employers can deliver on their promises. If their big ritual thing doesn't pan out, we're all going to be left standing here with our asses hanging out. A bunch of chatty priests playing Sorcerer's Apprentice against seven immortal mages. Sounds great. Anyhow, you have to fight fire with fire, so they say. Damn, they're here already. I better warn the others, fast. Enjoy your stroll. Get over here and tell me about it. By the looks of you, I'm guessing it wasn't just a quiet stroll. So, what did you see? The dead walkers are already close. I got one of their scouts. God damn it, Vulcan! 
I've told you a hundred times, recon means observing and reporting, not charging in and fighting without thinking. I didn't want him to alert all of the others before we were ready for them. But what if they'd have killed you? Then you wouldn't have been able to alert us before they were ready to attack us. Think for a second. God's blood. We have to get ready for them. Now that you've finally got your ass back over here, you can prepare some traps. Get Peeler to help you place them around the temple. That'll give us some time, and we'll hear them coming. Yes, sir, Captain. And if you have questions, you know where to find me. <sighs> hmm. The way you're standing there looking like a kid waiting for sweeties tells me you have a question. Oh, come on, then. Out with it. Anything else I can do? Apart from waiting for the hobblers to come knocking on the temple doors. You could go and search the area. Nobody's coming back to collect what they left here. Or you could go and check inside. See if our adorable employers need a hand. Or a neck rub. This isn't the ideal place to get trapped by the Deadwalkers. Do we have an escape plan? If you think I dragged us to the top of this mountain without figuring out how to get back down, laddie, you're not going to be commanding troops anytime soon. It's true that early, but the plan stays the same. We have to hold this position until the dozy bastards are done with their chanting. What comes after that is my concern until I tell you. I was only asking, sir. I guess we could just hold our noses and chop our way out through them? Don't count on it. If the dead walkers are already here, it means Bastion has fallen. It's just a way to the west, and that means we get stuffed by a whole siege battalion. There'll be hobblers, specters, spewers, maybe even a juggernaut if the gods have decided to stick it all the way in. The gods, or the ice lords. So juggernauts really exist? I've never seen one. Well, I have. And I'd rather not have to see another. I worked in a Morkine for a couple of years. A huge fortress with walls as high as ten men. Those things tore the place down with their bare hands. There were two of them, maybe three. The fortress fell in a single night. There's something creepy about our employers. I shouldn't have to remind you of the Freeborn Blades code. You don't ask questions about a paying customer. And of course they're strange. It doesn't take a genius to figure out they're more than just wise men seeking knowledge. But so far, the only thing that's bothering me is their insistence on performing that ritual in this God's forsaken temple. I guess that this is the only place they could do it. Or maybe they just don't want to die without company. The whole thing stinks of mass suicide to me. Ah, give it a rest, lad. <sighs> Damn. We should have got them to pay in advance. I'll go, Captain. Three months without a chance to spend my pay. I'm sick of this goddamn war. I'm ready for their stupid dead faces. That should do it. I'll give all these to Peeler. He'll figure it out. Hey, Peeler, lend me a hand, will you? We've got to prepare the area before it gets overwhelmed with walking corpses. These are a few treats to welcome our buddies, the Dead Walkers. Booby trap all the access points. Try not to blow yourself up. Ha! <laughs> Don't sweat it. I can handle it. I'm not kidding. If you lose an arm, it's gonna be my ass that gets blamed.
The hopplers are coming! Now! Drive them back! We must hold the esplanade! Come more of them. Buffalo is getting along with the scribes. He's meant to be guarding their invoking chamber. Huh? But, Captain... Get out of here! And go find Pila for me while you're gone. I'll give you but Captain. Right. Are you coming or what?
Is everything okay, Buffalo? As long as I can hear them mumbling, everything is okay. One of those dead things managed to get as far as here, but I killed it before it could interrupt them. That's good news. The captain's holding the front entry, Hawk's on the west wing, I got the east. Got any idea where Peeler is? I think I saw him over on the east side. You should find him if you head over there. Thanks. I hope he's still in one piece. And, uh, you might want to check inside the invoking room. We just came across some specters. Those things can go straight through walls, and they might get in there without asking you first. Is that so? Some help here. There's too many of them, and I got this stupid scribe under my feet. You, scribe, get back to the chamber with the others. I can't protect you if you keep wandering around.
Hey, thanks. Without you, I'm pretty sure that jerk would have gotten you killed. No shit. Next time, be more careful, okay? I talked with the captain. He wants to see you. Ah, oh, shit. Fall back to the invoking room, and fast!
concentrate. We almost have it. Well, now, that must be the fifth time I heard him say that. This stupid ritual is taking too goddamn long. Oh, shit. Here come the hobblers. Are you going to be all right? I'm fine. Worry about those dead walkers. Are you hurt, Buffalo? When I need a hero, I'll tell you. For now, we just have to protect the tribes. Sorry, Sergeant. I'll keep the bubbles busy. <laughs>
How did I do that? Captain, I think it's time we talked about a promotion. We don't have time for this, Vulcan. We need to move out before the rest of them get here. The passes are probably crawling with them already. There's a passage to the other side of the mountain. It will lead us to the swamp. The swamp? Oh, that sounds fun. Hey, did anybody see what I just did to that huge fucking monster? I mean, seriously. I fried that thing. I saved our asses, and you're all just... Hey, what's for lunch? I said shut it, Vulcan. No choice. No choice? Hast thou even thought of choosing? Thou art fled like a thief, and thou hast left me, the shadow of myself, trapped here in this prison. I did not create this situation. I'm not even sure I understand what has happened. The hour for questions is past. Thou must act. It is I who will suffer for thy cowardice. I who will pay for thine fault. I who will face extinction. And if I must die, if the flame is extinguished, our world will die as well. I will not let the flame die. I am in a war against these necromancers, and at last I have the power to fight them. What dost thou hope to accomplish in this ridiculous human shell? As it is now, it is useless to us. The flame is not a toy for mewling infants. It exists to reign. Its power must not be stolen from thee. We must reconquer the world heart as swiftly as we may. Hey, Vulcan, enough of your daydreaming. Move your ass, huh? Buffalo. 